Hi everyone, welcome to Success Made Simple. We're in a little series with Success Made Simple called the 15 Keys to Success. It's part of a teaching that I have called Keys to Success and I wanna invite you, if this has been helpful, I actually have a free download on my website that lists all of these out and it gives you scripture references that I've been talking about and I have an entire series with a study guide that's available as well. Just go to karenconrad.net and you can go to the shop or to the free downloads. So today we're on number eight and number eight is the law of favor. There is a law of favor and attraction that is in the earth and it's something that God has actually provided for us. And I'm going to give you proof of that. We're going to go to Proverbs 12 2 and it says this, a good man obtains favor from the Lord, but a man of wicked intentions he will condemn. Do you know one of the confessions that we've made like since Levi was like two years old is we have favor and good understanding in the sight of God and man. We have been taught and understand that God gives us favor. And this is so interesting in Proverbs because it says a wicked man, meaning somebody with wicked intentions, does not have favor. So to me, that tells me that one of the keys to me having favor is to have good intentions towards people and towards God. And uh, once we do that, we can have confidence that Lord, you are going to give me favor in this situation. So how many times have you maybe started to look at something in a store and maybe it's a dress, Maybe it's, you know, an item at like home goods or maybe at a furniture store and you're looking at it and admiring it. And then you look around and it seems like all at once, everybody in the store is looking at that same item or what happens to me. And this just happened to me the other day is I'm shopping maybe for clothes. Okay. And I'm going through the racks and I see nothing, but I look over and somebody just pulled a really cool shirt out of the rack and all at once because they pulled it out. I'm now like, Hey, I like that shirt and I'm waiting to see if they put it back. Well, you know what? There is all sorts of kinds of laws of favor and attraction, but usually when somebody is in a state that they're pleasant to be around, or maybe they change the atmosphere in a room towards positive, people are attracted to that person. And I'm not talking about attraction, like with someone you want to date or something like that. I'm talking about a spirit in that person that causes you to want to be around them. So if we're looking at a situation and think about what kind of people do I like to be around or who do I like to have on my team? What are their traits? Do you know one of the main traits that I look for is somebody that is positive, supportive, encouraging, and somebody that doesn't pull you down to be around. Do you know what I mean? So I've worked with some amazing leaders uh, in my career, just incredible from my banking days, ministry, uh, corporations, organizations. And one of the things that the Lord really put on my heart is to be a person in the room that people are happy to see. Now, what does that look like? That means when I go into a meeting or I go into a situation, I'm not saying negative things to pull people down, but I'm actually bringing encouragement, a smile on my face, right? You can change the atmosphere of a situation. Do you know, I had a meeting today and I went on, we're doing, you know, of course, Zoom and video conferencing today. I got on that Zoom and I could tell like, wow, there is like some tension or something heavy going on with some of the people that were on that call. And so I just chose to take that uh, approach of happy, light, encouraging people. And it took maybe three minutes of me just communicating that I could change the whole atmosphere of that call. Do you know, you and I are so powerful in being able to bring hope, encouragement, and change atmosphere for the good. 
And the Holy Spirit lives in us. He is full of joy. So when we go into a room or go into a situation, we can bring peace, encouragement, and joy. And as we do that, we will definitely walk out the law of attraction and the law of favor. You try it and let me know how it goes. I want to hear about it. And I, I know that if you actually apply this and are purposeful with it, you will be so in demand. People are going to want you on their team. They're going to want to be friends with you. You're going to have leaders who are under a lot of stress in high places choose to have you on their team because you bring this amazing component of favor and attraction.